Okay, after all of the cutting and all of the milling and all of the lathe work, we're kind of down to this whole thing starting to take shape. And these are the two rams. They go into those holes that we bored out. I'm going to show you how this thing all worked out. So uh, the cable goes through here. And these little sliders are grippers. And the cable comes up here and goes through here too. And then goes over into the, the uh, pulley mechanism that transfers the energy to come sideways. And there, of course, is the compressor again. We'll be back. And there's the pulley. And the cable comes down. Th this whole mechanism here sits upside down. This part here is going to sit on top of this platform. And then the pulley or the cable will come down through here and go around the pulley and into the earth where he pulls the, um, the uh, uh, plumbing pipe through the, through the ground. So um, let's come back to here. The two cable locks are set up so that, uh, so that one is a puller and the other uh, pushes back. So when this thing expands, and this whole thing will, will push out about a foot and pull the cable, uh, which means that this one will be pulling. And then when it, when it reverses itself and comes back, this, this one here will grab the cable and push the cable back so that it rotates back where, we, where we're going. And then and that basically, uh, you know, they pull a foot of cable through each time they do it. So we're back to uh, drilling these holes to the size of the bolt, setting up, actually before we drill the holes, we have to set up where the holes are because I know these holes aren't where they're supposed to be. So I got to measure where my, uh, my uh, threaded bolts go in something like that and then uh and then set it up and drill these holes that's pretty much the next step we'll go from there all right so remember this side that i bored out and uh on the wrong side of the uh, tracks <laughs> no on the wrong side uh, this was in backwards so uh i it this is completely bored out now now what i have to do is come back and make a sleeve somewhat like this uh this nut here except in the reverse the threads are on the outside and the sleeve is on the inside so that it, uh, the the ram has something to kind of when it slides up here it has something to butt up against so we're going to put the threads on the outside and we're going to then put this block back up on the lathe and thread the inside and then uh, tighten the nut up and hopefully it uh, We'll be able to get into a place where it can actually disappear. I mean, mostly disappear, and just uh, just hold the uh, ram in place, and everything should be fine. Okay, so uh, we actually had a piece of material laying around that I had uh, cut the threads the wrong way, so it's perfect. It's just the right size. Basically, we're going to do is just cut cut this in, inside a measurement to two size and then come back and uh, and start working on the outside we'll be back okay inside measurement is going to be uh, what is that three three hundred and twenty five which looks to me like we've got oh I don't know uh, an eighth of an inch still to cut so let's go ahead and start cutting and see what we can come up with
So we went a little bit over. Uh, we were going for 25, we're at 40, but this is a hole that's not critical. In fact, the better, the better it slips, the uh, more safe I am. So uh, we got ourselves a nice finish there. So now we're gonna come in and face off this and then take our outside diameter down to size. And I think I'm going to go ahead and continue to use a boring bar, and I'll show you why. Because the gaps are missing, and as soon as I get this part done, I'm going to put I'm going to put that big faceplate back in and put the uh, the big piece of steel back up on here. And uh, so uh, you know, and the boring bar seems to be working just fine. So I think I'll just go with it. All right, so now we're going to um, face off this edge, this uh, the uh, surface. So we've got our inset edge done, we got our chamfer and we got our face faced off. Now we need to figure out what our outside diameter is going to be, uh, the major diameter for the threads, and then go ahead and cut and then we'll set up for the threads. Okay, so we're pulling off some chips here. I'm taking about uh, 40 thousandths per side with this. Um, I don't know what material this is, but it's got to be some hard ass steel. So. Uh, that in a sense is good uh, in another sense cutting the threads is going to be a little difficult but uh, you know we just take it easy and cut them slow and I think we'll be fine at this point though I think what I need to do is I need to find out what my what my width is and I think it's one inch but I'm gonna go check and see so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, our measurement uh, over on the other side is one inch. So uh, we're, we're in pretty good shape here. We're gonna leave ourselves enough room uh, to cut this, uh, this off and to run the threads all the way out to the end there. So uh, we'll do that and uh, keep plugging along. I think we're sitting at about, oh, I don't know, still a, a good, uh, quarter inch of material left to cut off. Okay, so we've got our major diameter here, which is uh, 4150. So now we need to go down to our minor diameter, which is four inches. And uh, we've taken out uh, 50,000 so far, so we need to go just a little further. Well, another 100. Let's go. Uh, There's a hundred. And we're going to go to one fifty. So let's just take another. We're taking another 30. And 
and that gives us uh, one twenty five. So we now just want to take another twenty five. So let's uh, do that. So that's this way when I'm actually cutting the thread I don't have to think about it I know where to go so um, let's take our tooling away and take a measurement of that now normally I just come in with my regular calipers but uh, these guys have a little bit longer reach to them so they'll get in there And we're looking at, what are we looking at? There's four. I'm reading 450. So maybe we went down a little too far, but that's, that's still okay. Uh, we'll... Uh, I'm going to take another measurement. I don't trust that. Oh, I see. Even this, even this caliper won't reach that far. So, uh, so we can only trust, well actually we could get a spring caliper and do that. Okay, let's see if what we can come up with here. Geez, that's almost perfect right where it's at. Let's snug everything down. Well, it's actually a little bit big. I'd say I'd say that's just about right. Okay, and this shows for 30 instead of for 130. So uh, we did cut it a little too far down, but that's not going to hurt anything. When I uh, I just am not going to have a guide, so uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, put a dashboard gaze, either that or use my uh, DRO, and make sure that when, once I touch off, I come in. 150 thousandths, which is 75 thousandths. But for now, it's lunchtime, and uh, hey, we'll see you uh, soon. Okay, so we're uh, we're set up here. Um, I actually uh, filmed this the cutting of this hole here, and uh, happened to look up about halfway through, and uh, my uh, my. Uh, memory was full and my camera turned off and that was it for that so we're going to go ahead and film the entire process of cutting this hole and uh and we'll uh see how that works out now i'm looking for my little pointer and i use this one and i can't remember where i got it or how it showed up but it, it all of a sudden was here and uh and I started using it, and I really like it because it's uh, it's got a nice sharp point to it. So we've already got our um, X direction laid in. So now all we need to do is find our Y direction. And I need to find my optivisors. because I can't see anything anymore. We're going to come down and almost touch. And we know this is zero, so that's no problem. So we're going to 
bring it up here to my line. And bring ourselves right into where we need to be. And that looks pretty good. Take this back to zero. Come on. There's zero, and this is at zero. Lock our gibs in, make sure everybody's happy there. That looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna pull our, uh, first we'll pull the pin out, and then we'll pull the chuck. First thing we're going to do is uh, because uh, you saw that the hole is just terribly off. Let me uh, turn this down a little bit. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is come in with a a bit here that has a pretty long shank to it which is uh, going to allow me to get most of the way down there come on Now, unfortunately, it's not going to allow me to get all the way down the hole, but it'll get me started. And if you'll, oh, sorry. And if you notice, you'll see that my hole is out. Oh, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch or so. So we need to uh, drill that hole. And you know, if you put a drill bit in there, the drill would walk over to the hole. So we need to drill that hole straight down. So we'll use this bit to get started with. And uh, that looks pretty good. Take our automatic feed in. be here. Let's see. Well, actually, let's bring our table up because I know that this is, this is going to take a lot to get here. There we go. Now we're just touching. The table will kick in any second. There it goes. And it's going to bore its way all the way down to the bottom almost like a reamer except of course that the hole is way off and uh and it's going to be uh kind of straightening the hole out
Okay, so we got a, what, a half inch, no, more like a three quarter inch drill, hole drilled. And uh, it's time to start to leap. We've got most of the holes uh, re recut, so we can uh, make that leap. And uh, I think we could go to a much bigger bit at this point. Let's say maybe one inch. All right. All right, let's take off. Uh, maybe a little bit too fast. Let's take it down to three. Okay, that inch and a half bit took us pretty much where we wanted to go, but uh, and if I had the bolt on hand, I would show you, but it's about 15 or 20 thousandths too uh, small. So uh, we're going to take the, uh, the uh, boring bar and uh, come in and trim out that 15. Now I have it preset because I did this other one over here. Uh, later or earlier today so uh, I think we can just do the whole 15 at one shot let's put it at we'll get it at one and a half bring it on down let's see what we can come up with Okay, that's good.
we've got those two holes bored out. Now the only thing I want to do uh, before I pull this thing is there's this little edge that never got taken off and it's been bugging me for, oh, I don't know, can't tell you how long. So we're going to go ahead and mill that off and, uh, and then that'll be our day. So let's take uh, the boring bar out. Okay, since we're here, I think, you know, we're, we're level, we're flat, we're square with the two holes. I think it's probably a good idea to just go ahead and take our finishing cut. Now, the way we're going to have to do that, I was hoping to be able to throw a nut down here. We could actually do that. Now, it'll mess up the cut. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and... Uh, machine a couple of washers that are just going to slide down into that hole and then tighten up uh, some some uh, bolts and and uh, t-nuts to hold everything in place while while we uh, open up this top area so we can mill it so let's uh, go find some washers and we'll take it to the next step Okay, we're going to take our we're taking our last surface cut across the top of this, and then uh, then we'll take it over and uh, and uh, install it at least temporarily install it to see how it works and make sure everything is in good shape.